my name is Vila Benkin, and you rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. I hope I'm putting this video out today. I probably am. Uh, but if I, if I don't, this is, forget it, because this, this it doesn't count. Uh, I'm giving away uh, Doctor Who DVD box set, the East Space Trilogy, with Tom Baker and Lala Ward. And you can watch in real time. They're married. Blow up. <laughs> in the over these three stories all you need to do to win it is leave, is subscribe to the channel that's the important bit subscribe to the channel and leave the hashtag marshman you can do it on facebook on twitter you name it where you name it i will look for it and we're doing the prize drawing tonight unless this video goes out tomorrow then we did it yesterday uh on the tarda zone which is uh we do a, a, a live panel reviewing uh, the, the, this week's episode of doctor who about an hour or two after it airs so about nine o'clock nine o'clock in uh, in the UK, and if if we if we do miss one, this one, I'm doing another DVD giveaway. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll announce it tonight. Uh, depending, on, yeah, I think it's going to be the David Tennant's um, second series, the 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 Martha series. Uh, so yeah, if you miss out, you'll you'll have a chance of that one. Fine. Okay, so. Things are not looking good for Doctor Who. Okay, <laughs> things are not looking good for Doctor Who on many, many levels. I think it's um, it's fair to say the the Jodie Whittaker experiment may be considered a failure. <laughs> you know, I think it's really fair to say because the so the first thing that led me to th see that I uh, think that is this. Let me see if I can pull this up. There you go. So apparently this went out. Um, on the BBC staff portal. Uh, is this a Twitter account? I'm not sure. Oh yes, yeah, Twitter. Okay, fine. It says Twitter. So here we can see here we are aware that there are that there is some concern amongst staff regarding BBC posts on social media recently. Please remain calm. Okay, no problem, Beeb. I'm remaining calm. And remember, the vast majority of these posts are from ultra extreme right or from the ultra extreme right or Russian bots. Ninety nine point nine percent of the British public still love the BBC. Honestly, I still love the BBC, even though they crapped on me relentlessly. <laughs> you know, they they they're doing a horrible job, and I still love the BBC because I just I find it hard not to love the BBC because again, it's 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 a fantastic institution. It really is. I just think it's lost complete balance and sanity at this point with the uh, with their inclusion the inclusion inclusionary guidelines. Which are clearly alienating a lot of people. So th this uh, this this statement of theirs is just it's what crazy people say when they're when their world's falling apart. You know, I'm not well. Am I extreme right wing? I don't think so. I mean, like, I'm not fat. I'm not into like rounding up the Jews and putting them into death camps because I, I I might have to move if, they, if that's the case. You know, I don't think I'm extreme right. But I guess I don't know. I, 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 what they call extreme right nowadays is not being extreme left, which, yeah, yeah I don't think um, open borders is a good thing for a country, for example. Does that make me extreme right wing? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. But uh, so I don't think I'm extreme right. And I, I'm pretty sure I'm not a Russian bot. I, I believe my family came from Poland in like four or five generations ago. That's the closest I've ever got, got to a Russian bot. You know, I've always wanted to go, go, go to Russia, by the way. I had a friend who, <laughs> this is back when I used to smoke, bought back uh, Russian cigarettes. They were freaking awesome. So I, I think this is an indication that um, the BBC is in a lot of panic. And why are they in a lot of panic? They're in a lot of panic because of, oh yeah, the second indication they're in a lot of panic is this. Let me see if I turn this on. Uh, I better get this. Doink. Rotten Tomatoes has once again reset its audience score. I, I took this from this morning. It's uh, uh, February 9th, uh, to, uh, 2020, at 11 o'clock in the morning. I've given my review for Doctor Who season uh, 12. I think this is my fourth time. And I keep getting my review scrubbed. What, just what are you doing, Rotten Tomatoes? Really? What are you doing? And yeah, it keeps resulting in the same stupid thing. You keep getting incredibly low audience scores. We're not... Russian bots, you know, if you look at the Rotten Tomatoes, uh, you, see, you see the these Russian bots, as they're calling me, are really uh, detailed reviews. Let's see if, see if I can pull some up. Let's see if we can see. One second. Let me go to uh, audience score. Doink. And turn it on over here. Uh, this goes off. I think this is the right one. There we go. I'll put my little face over here so you can see me. Hello. Fine. So we see. Okay, this is. These are all uh, longer reviews. I don't think any of these are Russian. And you got two positive ones. 
but mainly they're very, very, very see, see all audience reviews. You know, yeah, we get we get a couple of uh, uh, anything one star, half a 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 star. You see, and these are all detailed reviews: half a star, half a star, three stars. That's pretty fair. Even though I would, uh, <laughs> I gave it half a star, half a star, half a star, half a star. And again, these are not botish reviews. Yeah, I just, I, uh, that's all we got so far. Really, please. <sighs> But, you know, all this speaks of inc incredible desperation by the BBC. And why are they so incredibly desperate? That's, that's the next thing. Let's look at the, the ratings. The ratings uh, the ratings are metrics. The ratings are undeniable metrics that you can't spin. And they've tried so hard. So by the end of the season, they're, they're, it's virtually impossible that this will not be the lowest rated season in 30, 40 years. You know, it's virtually impossible. Uh, she's going to be very lucky not to have the lowest rated individual episode as well. Let's look, again. Let's look at these metrics, and we can, we'll uh, we'll go through them. So, so ho hope hope you can see them. Let's have a look. So here we are. We started at four point eight eight overnight. Got a two million bump to uh, six point eight nine, just over two million, right? And we see it constantly falling four point six, and that got far a, a far smaller bump. That got a one point uh, one point four yeah one point four seven bump. That's a 25% drop, and then uh, 4.19 overnight, again, again giving a 1.2 bump. 4.4, uh, yeah, okay, so you're up to 1.15 bump. Then, then, then for episode 5, it went up. You had Captain Jack, and you had uh, uh, the Roof Doctor, which I thought was kind of a pretty... Uh, a good idea, but it did kind of show how horribly miscast Jodie Whittaker is in the role. Um, but that, 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 for the first time, I think, the, it, no, it's the first time that Jodie Whittaker's, no, second time, that her, her her ratings went up instead of down. Normally, in every other episode, her ratings went down, apart from Resolution, which it went up, which you would expect a mild bump. But boy, did that not get much of a bump at all. And, um, and so, yeah, they got 4.21, and now... Uh, last example of 3.97, they're going to be lucky. They're going to be lucky not to be the lowest rated episode since the return of uh, of Doctor Who in 2005. It, the, to, to get the lowest rated episode, they've got to get below 5.12. I think right now they have the second lowest rated episode. It's not good. So, you know, I think we just got to admit to ourselves, the Jodie Whittaker experiment is a failure. It is. It, the Jodie Whittaker experiment is a failure, and I think the BBC are admitting that by their free fall terror that they're in right now again they're putting out these crazy um these crazy edicts once again like calling calling you calling me russian bots and extreme right where right wing no we're not we're not they're just people who like doctor who who think what you're doing is crap you know that's just what it is and i what is up with rock tomatoes like why like what what why not be an honest arbiter of uh, uh, of opinion? Don't you think that's ultimately going to serve you better? Truth is, probably not. The truth is, they probably will do financially better by by being shills, which is clearly what they're doing. Like, why why, why do they keep keep deleting my my score, my completely legitimate rating? I don't know. I I can only assume it's because they're embarrassed that there are so many people who are not liking this this Doctor Who. So, um, the rumor is Piers Wenger, who was the 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 producer, I think for the beginning of the Matt Smith era. I, I remember him in that uh, Doctor Who Confidential special where they introduced Matt Smith and he had this awful cold. <laughs> he was like, his nose was, he was so blocked. I felt so bad for him. Yeah, the only other time on the, uh, I've seen, I've seen on the BBC somebody have a cold that bad. They have, they had on what, BBC Three, this, doc, docu this series of documentaries about weird sexual stuff and they had a porn star on. I was going to say a name, but I can't remember her name now. But I felt really bad for her because she had such a cold. And I, she put all this makeup on, and but she was streaming. I thought, poor girl, I really did. Um, oh, that was an interesting documentary, <laughs> I have to say. Um, so, yeah, so the rumour is Piers Wenger, who, who, who hired Christian, who I think seemed was a, on paper, seemed like a pretty good hire. I mean, listen, he did Broadchurch. He, he had success outside of Doctor Who. He had success inside Doctor Who. I liked the second season of Talk to Him. I never minded his episodes, but those episodes were kind of stewarded by clearly better writers than he was. Clearly better and harder working writers than he was. And the rumor is he's looking to get rid of him any way, shape, or form. So, yeah, I, I think almost certainly they filmed the Regeneration episode um, 
uh, already. It was, you know, I've seen pictures of Daleks on that was a Southwark Brothers. There's some bridge the Daleks are on. I don't think we're seeing them this season. I think that's a, re- a regeneration episode. Honestly, and it's like, like this is nothing against women. <laughs> Are you crazy? Uh, I, I still, you know, I still think Doctor Who could be, uh, could be played by a woman. You know, I'm open to that. I'm not really. I just, she's just horribly miscast. And I think they really got to think what they want to do if they want to have a, have a, have a female Doctor. You know, I think instead of going for this androgynous Doctor who is completely incompetent which why why are they making her completely incompetent okay is that having this androgynous doctor why not have a doctor who's a woman who explores femininity explores what it is to be a woman like that you've had somebody who's been male for thousands of years and suddenly you're female and everything changed that's a really interesting hook you know and i'm i'm really sad that they didn't do that and the idea that you can't have a uh, uh like a female lead who's commanding it and uh authoritative why? Why not? I, honestly, uh, I just got through finishing uh, doing uh, my my rewatch of the Capaldi years is uh, season nine, which ended up with um, uh, what's it, Clara and uh, was it uh, was it Alicia, Alicia, whatever her name, uh, Maisie Williams in the in the uh, in uh, was it the the American Diner TARDIS flying off somewhere. You know that looked like it could have been a good show. That could have looked looked like it would have been a good uh, pilot for show. As also the Paternoster gang could have been a good pilot, although I said it could be a good pilot for the show. And then when Big Finish started to release them, I, I uh, one of the few things I didn't I, uh, I didn't get for them. So go figure, who knows? But you know, I, yeah, I just think it's the uh, the Jodie Whittaker experiment is. I think at this point we can call it a failure. I think it's it's virtually impossible. That it's not going to be the lowest rated season uh, in decades in thirty forty years, I, I, and they're going to be have to be really lucky. Not to get the lowest rated episode uh, again. What they go to is dip under five point one two, and also you know the the iPlayer ratings are I think a little bit dodgy. I'm not sure. You know they they count somebody as a viewer if they watched it for two minutes. Well, that's what I heard on the on uh, Gary's uh, channel, Nodrotic. So uh, if that's the case, that's total BS. You know, but. I think they're like, they've really screwed up. They're really scared. Although, are they scared? They got the money from HBO. You know, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't see any indication they're thinking of doing any course correction whatsoever. But one can only hope. I, I think the metrics are pretty much going to, like, maybe demand it. Who knows? Uh, oh, my gosh. I was just going to see the, the last episode got a 78 AI. That's really low. <laughs> you know, that's one of the lowest ones they've ever got. Uh, although, episode three got a 77. That's not so good either. <laughs> so yeah, I think tonight's episode is going to continue this trend. I think it's going to get a lower overnight than uh, the previous episode, three point nine seven. I think they're probably going to yeah. If this trend keeps going, they're probably probably three point nine. Uh, three point nine cents seems seems reasonable. And that being the case, they are <laughs> they, then they're in prime place to get a uh, uh, be the lowest rated episode. Well, let's wait and see. We'll find out tonight. We'll find out tomorrow when the figures come out. My name is Fila Beck and the Rabbi from Another Planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like this content, if you consider hitting the subscribe button, that would be fan dabby dozy. Thank you so much for doing that. If you have anything you want me to talk about, just let me know. I'm happy to speak about anything. If you have any thoughts on this, let me know your thoughts. And uh, don't don't, uh, don't forget the, the, the hashtag uh, Marshmen to win those DVDs. If I'm putting this video out today, which I think I probably am. My name is Fila Beck and the Rabbi from Another Planet. Have yourself a fantastic day and thank you for listening. Oh,